The harmonic minor does represent an extension of basic minor tonality by pulling in flat six and major seven. There are three other keys of harmonic minor that I can use to extend the basic minor tonality. Each one gives me a different combination of tensions, and in each case, you can go through the same routine that I just did with C Dorian and C harmonic, namely basic minor tonality, the harmonic minor substitution back and forth so that the tensions and extensions feel like they're rooted in that basic one flat three, five flat seven tonality of C Dorian. Here's another key that works well. If I go a whole tone below, this is gonna give me Dorian flat two, flat five. It sounds a bit like the blue scale meets the Phrygian. So if I take in this key B flat, harmonic minor, and look at how that affects the C minor, here would be a B flat harmonic minor arpeggio, B flat, D flat, F, F sharp, or G flat, A, B flat. There's my B flat harmonic minor. And by the way, I'm also using harmonic minor voicings in these different keys to represent extensions of the minor tonality as well. A harmonic minor voicing incorporates the one, major second, flat three, four, five, flat six, major seven, nine, 11, flat 13. So here, for example, would be a B flat harmonic minor voicing. I got a B flat in the bass. I can put my flat six here, major seven, minor third, five. If I put a C in the bass, then I'm interpreting or hearing that relative to the key of C and hearing this B flat harmonic minor voicing as a kind of C. Uh, you might also accomplish this goal by having someone else play a C in the bass, perhaps a bass player or a piano player, someone that you're working with. So we can now take uh, the same kind of routine that I did a, a couple of minutes ago with C Dorian and C harmonic minor. Now I'm going to take C Dorian and B flat harmonic minor. Again, the B flat harmonic minor is introducing flat nine and flat five. Here's my C Dorian. Here's my B flat harmonic minor. If I put them together, here's my C, B flat. Again, I'm trying to interpret or visualize B flat harmonic minor as an extension of C minor. So I can essentially create the, this notion of B flat harmonic minor as an extension of C minor by referencing the basic C minor tonality enough that I'm seeing them juxtaposed exactly the way I saw C Dorian and C harmonic minor juxtaposed. So C harmonic minor pulls in major seven flat six, B flat harmonic minor pulls in flat two, flat five. So. C Dorian, B flat harmonic minor. If I put them together. C Dorian, B flat harmonic. C Dorian, B flat harmonic minor. C Dorian. B flat harmonic. So again, lots of flat twos and flat nines which are built into that harmonic minor arpeggio. Ideally, as you're playing these, you not only want to get a notion of what they sound like, but get a visual fix on the neck of where all the flat twos and flat fives are occurring. You're looking for the D flats and the G flats, essentially. So, uh, when do you know when it's appropriate to use this, which is actually a, a fairly dark sounding minor, what I'll do sometimes to really get comfortable with the sound is create a context which essentially will mirror exactly the line that I'm going to play. And this is a way just to develop ear training, get a notion of when it feels appropriate to use it ultimately in a spontaneous way. So you might take, for example, a basic C during minor voicing for a couple of bars and then B flat harmonic minor voicing for a couple of bars. To keep that C in the bass. This is the harmonic minor voicing that I played a little bit earlier with a flat six, major seven, minor third, five on top, that's a B flat harmonic minor, but I'm gonna put a C in the bass. So I'm gonna go back and forth between this voicing. So that could be something that you could tape and put on a loop, C minor basic. Two bars each, plenty of time to develop that, and then you're playing the Dorian. 
the harmonic minor whole tone below. C Dorian. B flat harmonic minor. C Dorian. B flat harmonic. So after a while, you really start to internalize what that flat two and flat five feel like in combination over a minor chord a whole step above. B flat harmonic minor is giving us those two tensions. If you just play a B flat harmonic minor arpeggio as written, one flat three, uh, flat six, or five flat six major seven against a C minor whole step above, those tensions are automatically built in.